Uh, Kenya's Chief Justice says the nation's Supreme Court can handle any challenge to the result of last week's presidential election. Justice Willie Mutunga says the High Court is prepared to hear any petition that may be filed fairly, justly and without bias. According to the Constitution, Kenya's Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission met today to review the election, including why the results transmission did not work. The IEBC declared Uhuru Kenyatta the winner over Raila Odinga with 50.07% of the vote. But Odinga's Coalition for Reform and Democracy Party claims it has evidence of voter irregularities. Jill Craig has voter reaction from Nairobi. Kenya's Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission says Uhuru Kenyatta secured a slim majority, 50.07% of the vote, to win the presidency. That eliminated the need for a runoff against his main rival, Raila Odinga, who plans to appeal, claiming elections fraud. The mood around the country differs, but most people are urging acceptance of the results and for peace to prevail. In the town of Dagoretti, a Kenyatta stronghold, people like Anne Benika are pleased with the outcome. The election was fair and good because there was no fight, there was no tension. Both Kenyatta and Odinga supporters live in the Nairobi slum of Mathare, an area heavily impacted by the 2007 and 2008 post-election violence. Resident Hesben Osiga says that he is willing to accept Kenyatta as long as the new president lives up to his promises. So we expect the Jubilee side, Uru Kenyatta, and his deputy president, they should stick to the manifesto. These young people who are, who are with me, they are unemployed. Uh, we have got so many challenges. Our prayer is that they deliver as per their manifesto. However, Joshua Dea says that he agrees with Odinga's decision to contest the election's results. No, we, we are not going to take uh, law in our hand as 207. But uh, now we have another room. If we are not satisfied here, then we will go to court. The reaction in Odinga's home base of Kisumu to the Kenyatta victory was more extreme, with some calls for secession. If the others who voted for those, that other candidate cannot come together with the rest of the country, then we are ready. We are ready to have our own republic. Back in Mathare, residents were quick to say that they will continue being friends after the elections are over. And some, like John Gatiba, say they are focusing on Kenya's future. Please, guys, maintain the peace, go back to work, and let's move the country forward. An election is just a short-time moment, but we have a lot to do for this country, and that is what matters at the end of the day. Voter turnout was 86 percent in this election, with more than 12 million votes cast. Jill Craig for VOA News, Nairobi.